good morning everyone yes it's still morning today is friday and i'm excited today because we go meet the new dog and i'll tell you a little bit more about that later but first i wanted to show you guys my new kitchen towels so i ordered this off of amazon so i just washed them but i just wanted to show you guys before i folded them and put it away it's super cute just has a little sunflower there and it says sunflower and on the other side it's the exact same thing so what i'm going to do is since i have four i'm going to throw four of these away because four of the old ones away because i do have some pretty old ones okay so i was going to throw these away because look at i don't even know how this got holes in them or why we continue to use it and this right here was white i don't know if you guys can see it on the camera but it's i guess it got washed with something red or pink and it's now off color so I was going to throw these away, but I think I'm going to use them for cleaning towels and just let my girls know, don't put it back in the drawer. Okay, with. So I just cleaned the kitchen. Wasn't that bad. And what did I do? I edited a video that should be up sometime today. And yeah, now I'm just sitting here excited about this afternoon. So we are going to go meet Chipper. I think I told you guys the story um, that they named him Chipper, but he doesn't answer to it. So if we do get him, we will probably change his name. We're going to meet up today when Savannah gets off work and go meet the dog and take Boston. Hopefully everything works out. I hear Boston. Hey. Hey, Boston. Where, where are you going? Where are you going? Come back. Come back. Boston. What are you doing? Hey. Hi. Say hey, everybody. Anyway, so what was I saying? So we're going to meet up later and take Boston when Savannah gets off work. And then that way we can hopefully, if everything works out, I know she told me there's going to be another lady that's going as well to meet him. And I'm thinking, I'm like, no, don't go. Regardless, it, whatever it's meant to be, it's going to happen. But it's like, we want to get him, you know, go away. <laughs> So I don't know how that would work. What if she feels that both homes are a good fit for the dog? I don't know how that will work, but I know I'm going to be prepared with my checkbook to make sure I pay the adoption fees and make sure everything is ready. When we got Boston last time, I was trying to think about the process. We've had Boston maybe like almost two years now, a year and a half, stuff like that. It feels like we've had him for five years, but I think the reason why we didn't get him that same day that we met him is because I had to wait until I got paid that next week and she actually she said she'll hold them for me like his clothes or an item or something but that next week she dropped them off at my house and I paid the adoption fees so we always joke and say that the reason why we got Boston so easily because no one wanted him because he's so ugly with this one I am following the company on Facebook and there was a lot of people that wanted this dog so the way she were she was talking to me is as if I had him already but I don't know we'll see we already have well of course we already have food for the dog and I'll go get some more today if we get him um, Boston's not low but just to make sure and I showed you guys that I did get a food dish for him and a bed so I will pick up another crate if we get him today and I'm waiting because he looks like he's taller than Boston so I don't want to get the same size crate and it actually be too small and have to return it or anything like that and I know a lot of people don't believe in crating their dogs and that's fine I mean so when we had Cody that was a whole different breed uh, literally anyway when we had Cody he was always in his crate when Tyreek wasn't home because I still haven't told you guys the whole story about Cody and I probably never will because it doesn't even matter anymore but he was a beast monster of a dog and that's the reason why we had to give him back anyway Boston is in his crate when we leave when we go somewhere because we don't let him roam the house because he tears things up He's not a bad dog, but he's a dog. So he'll go to the garbage, pull out trash, tissue, just like all over the place and stuff like that. So we learned pretty quick. We closed the doors when we're in here, but he still knows where the key. 
the kitchen trash is. Anyway, we crate him when we go somewhere and then sometimes at night. If Savannah doesn't have him in her bed, he's in the crate. It's not like he lives in the crate. I will pick up that crate later today if we get him. And yeah, I'll take you guys along. And regardless of if we get him or not, I will still try to vlog as much as I can just to show you guys and then yeah so anyway i've rambled enough uh it's 10 45 i'm just gonna relax for a little bit until we have to go later i haven't eaten breakfast so maybe i'll fix some coffee and i'm not really boston, hungry you cannot have mcchickens you cannot have mcchickens <laughs> no boston so you guys we are at this park over here my car is right there waiting here to meet no, the we're gonna have to move that because he's gonna definitely try to eat that Somebody dropped that and Boston wants to eat it. And we gotta keep him away from the kids. Are you gonna act right, Boston? Huh? Are you gonna act right? He has a one track mind. He has a one track mind. Because I always get lost in Roseville. Chip, 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 chip. Chip, 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 chip. What do you see? Oh, you see a little kiddo. Yeah. Hey, everyone. Good afternoon, it is Saturday, and I'm just loungy, not doing a whole lot today. No plans to do anything. I'm watching a movie. I paused it, I forgot the name of it. If I remember it, I'll let you guys know. It's really good, but I paused it because I'm thirsty and I'm gonna get something to drink. And then, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I just wanted to open up the blog because it's 2.20. And I'm just now pulling out the camera and I realized I didn't tell you guys anything about the dog or anything like that yesterday when I came home I didn't vlog anymore so I'll tell you guys about that shortly but let me get something to drink and then yeah I don't know what I'm gonna do but I just wanted to open up the blog and say hey so Savannah and Cheyenne are at the store and I want to show you guys where Boston is Yeah, you heard me coming down the hallway. When she's not here, he will park himself right in front of her door. But he was outside in the backyard going potty when she left, so he didn't see her leave. She's not here. She's not here, Boston. I don't remember if I showed you guys that I got these honey spoons. So I'm finally about to open up my tea that I got from downtown Disney and make some tea and use a honey spoon. So they come in this little bag right here and these little tea bags. So super cute. This is my first time having this you guys. So if you already knew how it came then yeah I didn't. I think it's so cute. Oh and I'm trying the French vanilla kind tonight. So I let it steep three minutes. Then I took the tea bag out and I put the little honey spoon in there. This is so cute, you guys. And me, when it comes to tea, my tea doesn't have to be sweet. Like I don't have to put sugar in it or anything like that. So this will be just fine for me. Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday. Just looking out my front door. I have my door open, as you can see. Um, just letting the fresh air in. And yeah, just getting the day started. So. <laughs> instead of coffee and I realized I didn't tell you guys anything about the dog I barely vlogged at all yesterday y'all you know me the little clip that you guys see I wanted to vlog a little bit more but at the same time I was asking questions about him Savannah was asking questions 
and we were trying to get to know him and let Boston get used to him. So I'll just say this right now. The dog is ours if we want him. Um, Boston did really well. Boston did a whole lot of sniffing and you could tell Boston is probably going to be the dominant one. He mounted his back and we were like, uh, no, um, they both are fixed. So yeah, I guess I read up that's one of the signs of dominance in dogs, even if it's male to male. So Boston actually did really well. They sniffed each other a lot in the beginning and then Chipper, he really wasn't interested in Boston. It was like, oh yeah, a dog. Boston was the one that kept going to him and smelling him and, you know, trying to get his attention and whatever. The lady was telling us that that's pretty much his personality. He's really friendly with her because he's been living with her because she's his foster. But she said when he first came to her, she had to let him come to her and, you know, be friendly with her. So now, you know, he's attached to her. These poor dogs. I mean, just from house to house, from home to home. And yeah, but it is what it is. So anyway, I don't know if you noticed that he's really super skinny, like super skinny. You can see his ribs. And they said they've been feeding him twice a day, like hearty meals. And she told me the mix that he's on. They even throw puppy food in there because puppy food has a lot of... I guess nutrients that puppy needs just to you know help him but she said he only gained like a pound and a half since they've had him he did have some dental work done couldn't take him on saturday is because he has an ultrasound on actually tomorrow they just want to make sure everything's okay and make sure he doesn't have any kind of growth in his stomach any kind of blockage that's stopping him from gaining weight and then on Friday, he has an eye doctor appointment. I don't know if you guys know, but Cocker Spaniels have a lot of health problems. And so we knew that going in before we got Boston. So yeah, to get killer for that, and then we can have him. So he's really super skinny. So we're gonna have to fatten him up a little bit, put some weight on him. And yeah, so they said he's 10 years old. He's taller than Boston. He is a Cocker Spaniel, but they don't know everything he's mixed with. They think it's an American Cocker Spaniel? No, I take it back. An English Cocker Spaniel because those ones are taller and he is definitely taller than Boston. He's, his legs are long. He was a very friendly dog, kind of skittish. I bent down to do the meet and greet and he was okay, but then he wasn't interested in me or Savannah. Um, he was more worried about other things going on at the park and the lady he was with and what else? Um, there was a point to where his head was turned and I just pat him on the head and he, you know, jumped. And so that's when she said he's kind of skittish to sudden moves and stuff like that. So that's something. But other than that, Boston didn't show any kind of aggression. So the other lady who wanted Chipper can kick rocks. And we are going to change his name because he doesn't answer to that name at all. So it's kind of bad because they said he's starting to get used to coming to Chipper, but I, I, I don't like that name. That's not cute at all. So by Saturday, you guys, as long as everything goes well with his ultrasound and his eye doctor appointment, um, we can have him on Saturday. Probably Saturday morning, first thing. That way we can get a full day with him. And he's going to the eye doctor because they think that his vision is going they said that and I couldn't really see it because Cocker Spaniel's eyes they look like what's that dog droopy remember that cartoon dog droopy sad and pathetic and his eyes look like Boston but the lady said one of his eyes drooped more than the other and she tried to show me I couldn't really tell so I don't know anyway they want to go get that checked out and just make sure his vision is okay and which I totally understand I get it we don't want to inherit a sick dog and have all these vet bills or whatever because if he's truly like sick and with cancer or I'm just throwing whatever out there because as far as his ultrasound I want to inherit that if he, we already had him and that was going on that'd be different I mean if Boston gets sick we're not going to give him up you know we're going to deal with it but I don't want to inherit or get a dog that I already know hey it's gonna be an expensive road and you know you can't just let them sit home and in pain so 
anyway, yeah, all that to say, we will be getting another dog on Saturday. We have a few names picked out that we think we can name him. Because Chipper, mm -mm, that's that's not going to happen. It'd be different if that was his name coming in and he answered to it and whatever. But I don't think it's cute, me personally. So if you have a dog named Chipper, then sorry. I, mm, sorry. This is how it is on the weekends at my house. Or in the evenings when I come home when it's still light outside. I just open the door when it's not too hot and let the fresh air in. And yes, I have my fan on. So now it's time for breakfast and I'm having cream of wheat. I just made my cream of wheat and put a little sugar, butter, and milk in it. I actually love cream of wheat and malto meal. I grew up on it and know what's the funniest thing. So my grandmother used to make it for us when the cousins would stay over there. My grandmother made the best cream of wheat and malto meal. Now, mind you, I can make it the same way, but it's still not like hers because I don't know when she made it because she made it and it was made with love. I mean, my cream of wheat and malto meal, it's not lumpy. It's creamy. I put the same things in it that she does. Sometimes she would put condensed milk in it. Excuse me. So it just all depends on what she had at the time. But it's so funny. Even to this day, I'm like, no one can make cream of wheat like my grandmother. I'm doing it the same way she did it. So I don't know. Go figure. It's because she made it and it was made out of love that it was the best thing growing up. So do you guys have things like that where certain members of your family, they passed and they made something and you know you can make it good? I mean, it's cream of wheat. You can't mess that up. Well, you can, but you can't mess that up if you know what you're doing. But it's not the same. So that's how I feel about cream. Oh, and oatmeal. She made oatmeal the bomb. So, yeah. Anyway, little rant. But I'm going to eat my breakfast and I'm catching up on YouTube videos. Okay, so it's actually a little bit later. 1.30. And I'm standing by my closet because I'm about to find something to wear. I'm about to get in the shower as well because... The month of October is Pastor's Appreciation Month, but because of COVID, we really haven't been having church, and by really haven't been, I mean we haven't been having church at all. We've been having Bible study, like ladies' Bible study, here and there, being safe, of course, and that's about it. So we still wanted to show something in appreciation to our pastor. So there's a family at our church who just bought a house that has like a lot of land on it. So they open up their home. We're going to be outside. Um, it's not that hot today, so we should be fine. We'll be distanced from each other, so we'll be able to see each other again and, you know, stuff like that and just show our appreciation to the pastor. So that's what we are going to go to today. So yes, the ponytail queen is back in action today. Y'all know how I do. Anyway, so I think this ponytail, I actually just got this one um, last month, but a few weeks ago when we went to LA and did the big bus tour, I think it got like some of the curls aren't as curly anymore so I just need to take the time to fix this so it can look the same because I feel that it's a little bit frizzy anyway I pulled the camera out to tell you guys something and completely forgot because I see my ponytail that I had it on and I look different than last time you guys see me so yeah if I remember I'll come back so this is not what I wanted to tell you guys but we have this pumpkin cake roll and I thought about you, Edna, when we got it. <laughs> yeah, because I do love everything pumpkin, so I'm going to cut me a slice right now. This is really good. I love pumpkin, you guys. So, this is so good to me. Mm. I love pumpkin flavored things. Pumpkin spice coffee, pumpkin cookies. I just like pumpkin. So here's the thing with pumpkin and me. So, pumpkin and me. When I was younger, when I was growing up, I never had pumpkin. Our family always had sweet potato pie, sweet potato bread, stuff like that. I was always told that, oh, we don't eat that because pumpkin pie is like the generic version of sweet potato pie or whatever. So I grew up thinking it was gross because I heard people in my family say pumpkin pie is disgusting, whatever. So not tasting it i'm going off of what i've heard crazy right so anyway it wasn't until i was in my 20s and i had this co-worker and she was actually a friend we worked together well that's what a co-worker is right so she 
brought homemade pumpkin pies and I guess this was her specialty and I tasted it for the first time and she's like Michelle no you got to taste this and I'm like no pumpkin is gross whatever and she's like but you never tasted my pumpkin pie so I gave it a chance and I tasted it and ever since then it's like why was I listening to my family pumpkin is the bomb I love it so ever since then it's like I've started trying everything pumpkin so I do and I eat pumpkin pie now at Christmas time or Thanksgiving or whatever because it's good so yeah I'm gonna eat my little pumpkin roll and continue watching YouTube until we leave okay so the thing with pumpkin is I'm halfway done eating that and this particular roll just like with anything it depends on where you get things that if it's gonna be good or bad or not or whatever so this is just okay this is not that great. I mean, it's good, don't get me wrong, but I've had better. It's not as creamy or as moist or whatever you want to call it. So, yeah. So I finally remember what I wanted to tell you guys. So, you guys know how Savannah is a vegan. She always corrects me because when I say going vegan, she tells me, Mom, I'm not going vegan. I am a vegan. So, you know how Savannah is a vegan. So, I do what I can to support her. And even though I'm not going to be a vegan, and no, Edna, she's not going to convert me because I love cheese too much. Vegan cheese is not the same. And I love eggs and bacon and ham. And yeah, you get what I'm saying. So anyway, I am going to support her in any way that I can. And I don't mind eating vegan meals if you know we go to a place and she wants to go to a vegan restaurant because that's what she can eat so I don't mind supporting her in that way so what I decided I'm going to do and she's really excited is I am going to be a vegan for one full week starting tomorrow so yeah I am changing up my eating habits and oh I thought somebody was at my door I was gonna be like excuse me it's a bird anyway so yeah next week I am going to be a vegan for one week and who knows maybe every now and then I will incorporate some of the vegan eating into my lifestyle you know but I won't become a full vegan uh, I just won't that's just me and the ones I have a lot of respect for vegans because the weekend that I was a weekend vegan it had me thinking and reading everything and like oh I can't have that because it has dairy in it or stuff like that so yeah much respect to the ones who are that bird is just throwing me off much respect to those who are complete vegans and live that lifestyle because I see what Savannah is going through right now and I'm like mm, don't know if I can do that I'm sure I could but I don't want to do it so yeah, tonight after the pastor's appreciation thing, I'm going to go to the store and get some food that we can eat. So we are in Winco getting vegan foods for the week or vegan friendly foods. And this is their vegan section. Okay, so we are back home and we did go to Winco and we got a bunch of vegan foods and I'm not gonna do a food haul and I just realized you guys the reason why and if you hear that Boston over there drinking his water if you wonder why I don't do grocery hauls it's because I don't want to take the time to set the food all pretty on the countertop <laughs> I think that's the reason why I don't do it so just trust me everything we got was either vegan or vegan friendly and I know what I said earlier about the cheese and I still feel the same way but we did get vegan cheese it's not going to be the same, but we got Beyond Beef Burgers. Savannah is actually making her one right now, but I'm not starting until tomorrow. So tonight, I'm having everything that a vegan shouldn't eat, so she's excited. So today is Tuesday evening, and I'm home from work, and I'm about to make this field burger, because remember, you guys, I'm doing vegan all week long, and it smells really good. I'm going to fry up a patty and have a burger. But it's made out of barley, onion, mushrooms. Y'all know I don't like mushrooms. Um, celery, carrots, and garlic. But it smells really good. It's like pre-seasoned and everything. So I'll let you guys know what I think of this. So Savannah made another vegan meal. And I guess this is a burrito bowl. But she made the tofu and everything. So now I'm going to try it. Hello. 
let me turn the light on so you guys can see me it is Wednesday I am at home today so I'll tell you the reason why in a minute but anyway I am continuing on a vegan lifestyle no I take that back I'm continue on eating vegan no she hasn't got me Edna, because I'm I love my meat but anyway um, it wasn't that bad so I'm just gonna continue and so I got this extra firm tofu which what Savannah used to make meat for the burrito bowls so I am going to do it again so I got the extra firm tofu and what I didn't know about tofu until Savannah went on the vegan lifestyle is that you have to drain the liquid from it this is in liquid I bought two so you have to drain it but not only that I have a flower pot sitting on the other one that I'm going to use you have to drain the liquid from it since we're putting it in another burrito bowl I'm just letting it drain like that okay so there's a lot of things I didn't tell you guys an update about Chipper the dog and then at least I don't think I told you guys no I don't think I told you guys and the reason why I am home so I'm so mad you guys someone at my job contacted COVID they decided because it wasn't a severe case that they were going to come to work so this person came to work didn't tell anyone for three days three days mind you this person was at work in our face working acting like nothing is going on right because they didn't feel that bad so someone else a co-worker that works in close proximity <laughs> to this other person that had it she got it she did the right thing and told everyone so then this other girl the one who didn't tell anyone she finally confessed that oh yeah I've had it you know but it wasn't that serious I thought it'd be okay to come to work anyway so now everything had to be shut down and we're at home for two weeks because someone came to work with a deadly disease knowing that it can spread easily yeah I feel fine I feel fine so yeah you guys that's the reason why I'm home Okay, so today is Thursday, and I'll let you guys see me in a second, but I went to Icing on the Cupcake downtown, and these two right here are actually vegan cupcakes. I think it's called the Chocolate Turtle. I'll try to open this with one hand. Let's see. So that right there, these are for Savannah. to work with one hand you guys and then right here I just got an assortment of other kinds so I just got a half a dozen but these two are for Savannah so yeah and their cupcakes are the best in Sacramento that I've tasted so I just did the dishes and I still have to clean the countertop off a little bit but I check the mail and you guys know how I always wait to the last minute to get my thyroid medicine but I am on a system now to where and I knew this before but sometimes I don't know it just takes me a while to change I don't know why that's just me but anyway I'm on the list now to where or however they do it where they mail your medication so I got a text two days ago maybe three days ago that said hey um, we noticed you could be running low on your prescriptions do you want us to mail it to you so it was simple and yeah I got my thyroid medicine mailed to me that way I don't have to go through the waiting in line and stuff like that and then if I had a zero refill waiting for them to contact my doctor so yeah I pretty sure I'm gonna keep doing this and plus from what they are saying trying to keep less people as possible in the hospital because of COVID of course if you need to go there if it's emergency or a doctor's appointment or something like that but simple things like this they can mail it to us so yeah and I'm just sitting here catching up on my YouTube videos and